Hi, I'm Tim, and this work is on integrating state representation learning into reinforcement learning. Deep reinforcement learning is a powerful framework that allows robots to learn control policies that map raw sensor observations to actuator commands through trial and error. The reward functions used in reinforcement learning describe the desirability of the state of the world, but often provide only sparse and indirect information on how to distill that state from the raw sensory observations. As a result, deep reinforcement learning algorithms often require an unfeasibly large number of environment interactions before a control policy is learned that generalizes to new domains. State representation learning objectives can be used to help learn a good state representation and therefore a good general policy more quickly. In this work, we combine a number of state representation learning objectives from the literature. The main focus of our paper is not on these objectives themselves, but rather on how to effectively integrate them with reinforcement learning. For this integration, we compare four alternatives. The first is not to use specific state representation learning objectives, but instead to learn the state representation only through reinforcement learning by fitting expected returns based on observed rewards. The second is to add the state representation learning objectives and to simply optimize for all objectives simultaneously. A downside of this method is that the state representation learning objectives can change the state representation in a way that badly skews the reinforcement learning predictions, especially when the data distribution changes quickly. We therefore introduce a method in which we alternate between optimizing for the state representation learning objectives and the reinforcement learning objectives. We also consider a variant of this algorithm in which we minimize the changes to the reinforcement learning predictions during the state representation learning phase. We found that our method of alternating between state representation learning and reinforcement learning while limiting the changes to the reinforcement learning predictions during the state representation learning phase works the best on the training domain. While alternating between state representation learning and reinforcement learning without constraining the state representation learning phase was the best option for getting controllers that generalized to new domains. On the training domains, learning was fastest using only reinforcement learning, although the eventual performance was best when state representation learning objectives were added. When testing the learned controllers on new domains, state representation learning helped to learn significantly more successful policies. We hope to tell you more at the poster.